So you want to create an amazing piece of content about something that's happened recently and you want to jump on that. You've heard about ChatGPT and that it's absolutely awesome at creating content. Well, it is. It really, really is. But there's an unfortunate thing about ChatGPT. It's only been trained on data up to 2021. So anything new, anything past 2021, 22 and into 23 now it doesn't have information about. So anything new, any new trending topics or ideas or niche markets that's, that have appeared, it's not going to have that information for you. So what you need to do is you need to actually feed ChatGPT the correct information that the search engines already have about that topic. And then what we do is we add in some extra prompts to make sure that what we're actually getting from ChatGPT is going to be far superior than what we're actually giving it. So what you need for this is you need ChatGPT, obviously. If you're not a, uh, from America, you're going to need a VPN to sign up for ChatGPT, okay? There's a link to a good VPN in the description there. You're also going to need access to Google as well, and you're going to need to know what you're actually talking about. And then you can follow the process in this video to actually get that absolutely awesome piece of content created. So without further ado, let's get into this. So we're over at Google here, as you can see, and the search term that I'm looking for, the content that I want to write about is actually Minecraft server, <laughs> Minecraft server hosting. Okay, so I just do a Google search, Minecraft server hosting. And I'm just going to go to the first result here, which is CNET, okay? All I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all this, copy all this content, and I'm just going to paste, copy it. I'm going to open up a new uh, Word document, and I'm just going to paste it in here, okay? So making sure that, so we've got 1,890 words in there. Okay, I'm just going to take out all these ones here. CNET shopping, all that kind of stuff. Okay, Minecraft, etc., etc. Read more. We don't need that. How to choose. We don't need all this kind of stuff here. Okay, so just make sure that you clean it up a little bit. Um, make sure there's not stuff in it that you don't need. Okay. As you can see, there are some of these things in here. But the beauty of it is, is this is just so quick to do. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to grab all this content here. Actually, we're not going to grab that yet. We're going to come over to our sheet here. And we're just going to copy this point here. We're just going to put it in the top here, okay? So we're just going to put uh, write an outline for the blog post about, and we're going to just put a, a, our niche in here, Minecraft server hosting using the following as a guide, okay? I'm just going to copy all of this and we're going to come back into ChatGPT and we're just going to paste it into ChatGPT here and press enter. And what it's going to do now is it's going to give us an overview. As you can see, it's running an overview right here for us now. So it's taken on board all of the information that we've given it based on the most updated information that we found online on Google. Okay. Now, while this is running, let's go back over to this sheet here. Okay. So when you have the outline, um, what we're going to do is we want to make this better than the content that's on Google already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, are there any other topics that I can add into this article that are semantically being left out? Uh, and we are going to go back into our chat GPT here. Okay. So that's the conclusion. Let's pop that into there. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us, it's a bit heavy on the, there's a lot of people using ChatGPT at this very moment. So let's hope that it works. Uh, look at, so what it's going to do is it's just going to add in some extra bits in here that we can add in to our content. Okay. A section on technical requirements for running a Minecraft server, such as minimum RAM and storage requirements, as well as recommended specifications for optimal performance, a section on the different types of Minecraft server hosting options, such as shared hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting, their pros and cons. Okay. So this is pretty good. Uh, again, we're going to come back over to the sheet. Next thing we're going to do is, great, can you give me a list of topically relevant keywords that I can use in this article? Please ensure that they are highly searched with little competition. Okay. 
So we're just going to put that in there and we're going to wait for um, it to finish the, the last part of it. And this stuff is so, so simple. Like, I don't know how long I've been doing this, like about five minutes. And we've pretty much, there we go. All right, so that's awesome. That's done that part. I'm just going to press enter. So again, press enter and let it run its course in here. I'm going to go back into the sheet here. And we're going to go. And finally, oh no, we want to have this one. Actually, what we want to have as well is, do you know what we're going to do is we're going to add, can you also give me a list of long tail keywords that I can use in the article? Okay, so let's copy that. Save, I'm just going to save that for you. Uh, let's go back into here. Okay, so great. So it's given us a whole list of uh, keywords here. Now we're asking for some long tail keywords as well. Sure, here are a few long tail keywords you can use in your article. Okay, great. It's spitting those out as well. And great, can you give me a list of topically relevant keywords that I can use in the article? We already did that. Um, ah, and finally, this one here. Can I have an, uh, a list of LSI keywords that should be added? And finally, we're just going to get it to now. Can you write me uh, based on what you created? So let's come back into here. So the, the next topic, the final, the final element that we're going to do is, can you write me, we're going to say a 2000 word article here. Can you write me a, a 2000 word article based on the outline you created, including the keywords you have found, ensuring that you are not keyword stuffing the article. Also make sure that you include the necessary h2 headings okay perfect okay so as you can see it's spitting out uh, a bunch of lsi keywords latent semantic indexing keywords that we can actually use in the article as well and then our search our search that we're putting in here now is now can you write me a 2000 word article based on the outline you created including the keywords you have found ensuring that you are not keyword stuffing the article now that's super important because if it puts all those keywords into the article and there are too many of those keywords in there well then the search engines they pick up that you're actually just throwing keywords in to try and rank for them and they do not like that and they penalize your site okay so that's why we're asking them not to stuff the article okay so we're going to press enter and now can you write me a 2000 word article uh including the keywords you have found ensuring that you're not keyword stuff in the article okay and boom here we go so it's going to well it is it's already creating that content for you that you can utilize in the piece of content on your website or whatever it is that you actually had wanted now with ChatGPT, if you've watched my other videos, you'll realize that, yes, it is a beast. Yes, it is absolutely awesome. We love it. Like, we all love it, okay? But it lacks the finesse of personality that you can bring to it yourself. So make sure that you're actually going through the content that it gives you, reading it, Ensuring, one, that it's factually correct. Remember, it's only up until 2021, okay? So anything after that date, it's not going to understand uh, that and could give you false answers, non-factual answers, okay? Um, but go through and give your writing the personality or give the content the personality, okay? Because that's super, super, super important. You know... In this day and age where content is just so easy to actually be created, giving the stuff that are giving the work that you actually do a personality is so, so important. Okay. Add your own little bit of creativity into there. Okay. And if you do, what you'll find is you'll be able to, we'll just continue on. You'll be able to utilize ChatGPT in the best way that other people are actually not using it like. So, as you can see, it's nearly finished the 2,000 words. 
Broken down a great article. Minecraft is one of the biggest games in the world with millions of people playing worldwide. And it's not just for casual players. There's plenty of hardcore gamers enjoying Minecraft as well. One of the best things about Minecraft is the multiplayer aspect. And there's no better way to enjoy this than to have your own server where you and your friends can play together and build the world of your dreams. Using a dedicated server hosting provider for Minecraft, like these are great keywords in here, is essentially like using a web host. You pay a monthly fee to use a vendor server Servers, which can provide with improved security, performance, and the ability to apply mod packs for customized multiplayers. You know, the, uh, it's great. It's really, really good. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief tutorial on how to actually create a piece of content that is contextually relevant past 2021 for Minecraft, or not for Minecraft, uh, for, for ChatGPT. Look, I'm Kieran Doyle. If you've enjoyed this, please like uh, the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing out a lot more trainings about ChatGPT, affiliate marketing, building your online business, and finding opportunities, which is a big thing that I wanna teach you guys as well. Uh, so as I said, please hit like, subscribe, and let me know what you thought was the coolest thing in the comments below. So anyway, as I said, I'm Kieran Doyle. Looking forward to hearing from you. Say hello. Keep it easy.